Okay, so this is Lego Fantasy 21. <coughs> um, here with my uh, Lego um, Star Wars uh, custom Junk Titan. That you cannot buy this in stores. Um, and don't ask in the comments, can I buy this from you? Because I'm gonna say no. Um, so. There's a minifigure there, and I bet you're wondering why there's a droid right in the middle. That is because he was the only minifigure that would fit in the cockpit. And yes, there's a cockpit for the Junk Titan. You can't, see, you might not be able to see it right now, but yeah, there's a cockpit. Um, the droid, nothing sh so shocking about him. I just switched it around. Cause it didn't work, like I said in the Swamp Speed review. If you haven't seen that one, you're seeing this now. Um, it's it's switched because I it just didn't work when I first got it, like I said in the Swamp Speeder one. Yeah, blaster pistol. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it for the minifigure. Like I said, can't buy this in stores. Um, the the um, Jump Titan itself, extraordinary detail, as you can see. Um, I made it look really good. And it's, I made this in 2000, early 2010, I think. Um, um, this is basically just pieces from another set, and if I want to rebuild those, I have to take this down, unfortunately. And what makes this set good, well, sort of a set, this custom set, what makes this custom set good is that it looks like it's been damaged because the legs are different and um, the guns on here, they are different. These, these are really minor, but those are different. The eyes are different. Um, those things on the armor, they are different colors, shades. Um, the, I'll get that close for you. Different shades. different shades. Yeah. His, his legs. Kind of hard to pose him. Um, just kind of hard to pose him. Um, because his legs are different. One's ginormous, the other one's not quite as ginormous. Um, like this one, got it from the Bionicle. That one is from an Exo Force. Um, so now, enough jibber-jabber, we'll get on to the cockpit. Um, cockpit, to make the cockpit work, you have to fold this piece down, not want to hold on to them, fold this piece down, and then fold this piece down, like that. Then, see, it's kind of empty in there. It's kind of empty in there. To make the droid get in, you have to connect his hand and it has to be a bent arm like that and you connect it to in the middle between those two to those two pieces in the middle I don't know if you can see it in the middle and I'll show you what it looks like so you see, the process is actually quite easy you just stuff them in there you have to take this gun out I forgot to tell you that you have to take this gun to take his gun out um to make it fit sorry I might have to take this way to ca up the camera to make this work because it is what a pain about this custom set is that it's a pain to get the droid in it's a pain to get him in it's more of a pain to get him in than it is to get him out um he kind of hangs out a little bit but, hey, it's still a cockpit. He kind of hangs out a little. It's supposed to do that. Not because I just had to kind of squeeze him in there because we're low on time. It's because... Well, we're not low on time, but it's just because that's how it's supposed to be. Um, so that's what it looks like. And why do I have a cockpit? That is because if his head... He actually has a very unique head. It's actually a cockpit with two studs on the bottom. That's really creative. <laughs> so, um, and it looks definitely looks like a jump titan. Um, so the 
cockpit with the droid in there is so that if his head gets knocked off, which comes off really easy, look. And you just stuff it right in between those four. Those two plates of armor, and it fits just perfect. Right in there. Like that. I need to modify that. I need to use a little bit more support to make the head stay on a little better. Um, so the that's what it's for if the head gets knocked off. It's just kind of... The cockpit is kind of like a backup generator, and the droid controls him after the Joe Titan's head gets knocked off, or he's been too damaged in battle. Um, the weapons, I almost forgot the weapons. Um, the weapons, this is a flamethrower right here, flamethrower. Took that from another set, obviously. That used to be what this is right there, that actually used to be another weapon, but I switched it. Um, it actually used to be several different weapons, but I just decided to keep stop switching. It, first, it was like a fist that you would punch people with. Second was a blade. Second was a different blade. And then fourth was the, um, front door. And I decided I'd keep the front door. Um, on the other side, um, and you can see under the plates of armor, he, they connect perfectly to those. Um, this all, piece, this all whole piece in the center, right there, that whole piece in the center. Um, on the whole piece, this is actually from an Exo Force set that I found in one of my uh, tubs full of Legos. So yeah, um, levers, got a lot of levers, that's what make this ha makes this have a lot of detail too. Got those, uh, some studs on it, and you got a, even got a wrench on it, got a lot of rare pieces on this. Um, quite a few rare pieces. Um, plate of armor down there, those are some guns right next to the cockpit. Fully rotatable turret, like I said, that is my favorite thing on this set, or custom set. Um, then we have the, um, guns on the sides. Fully rotatable. Rotate anyway, except for this one. This one can't rotate up or down. That has to, has to stay like that. But it's pretty, um, this is a pretty, um, good opponent, a pretty, um, good op opponent. I don't know the word was, but, and then, uh, yeah, um, the, and, oh, I forgot, I almost forgot, the piece that's holding the cockpit on is really, it's kind of rare, actually it is rare, that, it's that, it starts with that, it starts with that, and then it, it starts with that piece right up there. Um, and then it just goes, curves down, and touches that piece, which goes under that piece, which goes under that piece, leads on to here. Um, so that's a rare piece, actually, that you're not going to find very often. I can tell you that right now, that you're not going to find that very often. So, we're going to wrap this up by saying that it's a really, really good custom set, and I would try to make one of your own. Um if you can um, get permission from YouTube to do it. Um, and these plates of armor, I forgot, I forgot to show you, plates of armor right here, really, really good. They come off easy, but they're, um, he's a pretty formable foe, the Junk Titan. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and look out for my other videos, and look out for Megapixel Productions videos, and we're cutting it really close, so see ya.